So here we are in Sao Paulo traffic. Friday afternoon. This is Friday afternoon and it's 1658, almost 1700 hours. That's the way they tell time here in Sao Paulo. And this is our street. And we're like five minutes from my school, Jim is driving. And today's lesson is all about the parking garage. And what I have to do is I have to use this little key fob and I have to open the door. Oh yeah, did you see that crazy motorcycle driver? That's what they do here. And I'm just going to let you see some of the security. I don't know if you can see those are cables and wires and electrical shock things. And this is our apartment number 1109, which we can't get to. And here's the front of our building. And if you notice, it's all gated. So you have to stop at that gate to be let in. And then you would actually go into the inner area and they close the outside gate so you're kind of trapped there for a minute or two before you can go inside. And there's electrified wires along it. And here we sit, waiting to get into 1109. And conveniently enough, there's two bars right next door. Huh. I wonder why I picked this place to live. All right, Jim cracks me and says, they're restaurants. Si, senor. Si, senor, and I don't know, are you watching these crazy motorcycle people? This is the way they drive. That's so they can cut their commute. One of my um, staff members actually does that. Probably drives like a motorcyclista, is what they say. And, There goes another one. And actually, we were told that one motorcyclist a day. No, how many a day? 24 a day? Yeah, but I think she's off. 24 a day supposedly drive in, die in accidents. Okay, so here's the security. And what I have to do is press this little button. And the gates open. And then we drive in. And we then wait while they shut the other gate. So we're almost kind of trapped in between. And then they open the second gate. And this is our parking garage. And you would think, hmm, why is Marie and Jim showing us this parking garage? Because it's the mad craziest parking garage I have ever seen. So this is sub level one, and we eventually gonna end up in sub level three. And this is the first phase and it's not too bad it's kind of nice and wide and we make this swing and around we go super tight super tight so this is sub level two and our parking is sub level three so here's the craziness that we have to get on this mad crazy ramp Holy shit. I don't even know if you can't even see. Yikes, you see how close you are over here? Yep. <clears throat> it's like, uh, right? Look at how narrow this is. I don't know if you can see how close my mirror is to the side. And then we have to come around the corner again, super tight. And this is our spot right here. So we do this crazy little thing where Jim's gonna let me out. Oops. Hang on, honey, let me undo my seatbelt. <clears throat> Hold on, baby doll. <clears throat> Sorry, fans. All right, so I'm gonna put up. <laughs> okay, so I get out because this spot is so tight, I have um, no room to get out. You can see that people like tilt their tilt their mirrors in. So here's Jim, and what he's going to try and do is line right up on those lines to get as much out of the way as possible. Yeah, you're really good. You can even come out a little more. That's perfect. Perfect. So see how he ends up right on those lines. Yeah, that's good. 
And then we come over here and push this in so it doesn't get dinged. Because I don't know if you noticed that we had to actually tape something on it because I think the, um, the car wash place did it. Yes, we have a car wash place that actually um, takes care of our car. So I don't have to put gas in it. I don't have to wash it. And there you go. There's the rest of our garage. And the windows open automatically just to crack. Notice they're all tinted. I think it's because of um, the heat or and security. Or security. Um, hang on, let me just get my backpack. <clears throat> Yes, that's me still grunting. <laughs> I still like to make grunting noises. Those are the keys to my car. Jim's gonna get some things out of the back seat. Okay, are you good? Yep. And then we lock it. And that's it. That's our park job for now. How did you do, baby? Good. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Okay, and then we walk over here. And the lights usually come on automatically, which is actually kind of cool. I'm finding Brazil much further ahead of us in that department. And this is very interesting, pardon me. This is advising the passengers Antiste and Trar means before you enter the elevator, verifique, you must verify, I'm pretty sure that says that the floor is actually there. So that kind of means that they must have had some issues. So it's an actual municipal law that they have to post the sign and they're requiring us to look on the bottom of the elevator to be sure that uh, the floor is actually there. And this is actually stuck on floor nine. We have a friend named Nando. Hmm. That's really funny. Okay, so I'm going to pause this for just a second and I'll record in a minute. Because this is boring. And here we go. T is for a lobby or something like that. And this is now on sub one. You saw that and it stopped on someone. Hmm. <laughs> We're never gonna get a hold. Oh, I'll just point out that there's all kinds of security. Everywhere you go in this building, there's security. And here we go. So verify that the floor is there. And yes, you notice that we live on floor 13. And we know in the States that there is no floor 13. But we are living on lucky floor 13. And, and that's it. Woohoo. That's our parking garage.